What is that? Don't don't, don't read the don't read any captions. Zoom in, Kyle. Okay, so they I'm don't not read reading anything. What, oh, what, dude, what, I, what, it's, what it's a salamander of some sort. Uh, That's some kind that of salamander, salamander with a big. F- a Japanese giant salamander. How cool is that? It's massive, dude. And so this tail. one that I'm holding here is actually a hybrid. So this is interesting. A lot of people don't know this. There's two giant species of salamander in the world. There's And Kyle, pull up pics as we talk about because it's really interesting. There's Chinese and there's Japanese, okay? Try to give you the whole picture, but I think the Brosners will find this really interesting. The Chinese giant salamanders are pretty much extinct in the wild because they were har- over-harvested, over-pollution. People wanted to eat them for food, which is crazy, blah, blah, blah. And so the Chinese giant salamander... Uh, was subdivided into three subspecies and they're all just like hybridized and kind of a mess now, right? And that's in China. Now in Japan, they had the Japanese giant salamander. But in the 90s, there was a Chinese businessman who was like, oh, Japanese people are definitely going to want to eat salamanders the same way that Chinese people do and imported 800 Chinese giant salamanders, which gets slightly bigger. Yeah. Both species are incredibly docile, super mellow, like these big, lumpy, sluggish-looking things. Sacks right? of meat. Yeah. yeah. And they really shouldn't be meat. Like, they're fucking disgusting. But um, <laughs> so stay with me, because it's really, really interesting. Yeah. When that, when that Chinese businessman in the 90s brought these 800 over, the Japanese government went, he'd already brought them over, and then the Japanese government went, well, wait a minute, if we start a food trade around this animal... People are just going to go out and harvest the ones in the wild. So this is a bad idea. Let's make it illegal. Then the Chinese businessman was stuck with 800 salamanders with nothing to do. So he just fucking dumped them like everywhere, including in like uh, like the palace in Tokyo or something the ultimate like fuck you. So now what you have throughout most of Japan is hybridized Chinese Japanese giant salamanders. They've hybridized. And what's crazy and you're not going to believe this. So that salamander that I'm holding, it maybe looks 20 pounds. It was 54 pounds. We Holy weighed. crap. It fucking huge. It was one of the most aggressive animals I've ever dealt with in my life. Really? Something about mixing the two species, the Japanese and the Chinese salamander, has made them like a super aggressive, larger growing, substantial predator. And they're, of course, now out competing the native Japanese ones. Now, what's really cool is there's still some tributaries where there's no Chinese ones and they're genetically pure. and we went out and found them in the wild, blah, blah, blah. We also, at that same breeding facility, got to weigh the largest known salamander in the entire world, which was really cool. But the How one that big? I'm holding, How big? Uh, it was 58 pounds, I think it was, and wow. we measured it and everything else. But Just that one size. that I'm holding there is a hybrid Chinese-Japanese giant. Can we see that again, Kyle? And, dude, this thing was... Go, go to the other pick, Kyle. There's two picks together. This thing was fucking terrifying like see the size of it there you can really yeah see it. that this tail thing is was huge. so fucking aggressive dude like we we lifted up the japanese one and the guy this is at a breeding facility and the guy's like this is as far as we know the largest japanese giant salamander in the world and i was like oh that's amazing like when's the last time you weighed it and took measurements He's like i don't know five years ago i was like let's do it and he's like sure so we went and weighed and everything verified like it is the largest living one known on record and then he's like, do you want to see the hybrid? And I, I can't touch the Japanese one. Like, you have to have special permits, and you have to be Japanese and everything else. And I was like, yeah, I want to see the, the hybridized one. And he's like, okay, just be careful when we take the lid off. Like, they're in these big, like, stock ponds. And I was like, what do you mean be careful? Like, I just saw one. It's like, <laughs> you know, dude, we take the lid off, and this thing's like a fucking, like, boom, like, snaps out of there. It's thrashing around. It's, like, charging down. It's Jesus. so fucking aggressive. It weighs 50 pounds. You can't pick it up because it's so slimy. It's like, I don't know if you ever felt an eel. Like, you just cannot hold on to it at all. Right. Like, imagine taking a fire hose and covering it in baby oil. Like, you just can't <laughs> fucking, you can't grab it at all. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's trying to fucking bite. And the keeper's like, he's like, he's Japanese guy, like, very polite, like, kind of small and quiet, you know? And he's like, oh, don't let it get you. Don't let it bite you. And, I, and, and like, we're, like, halfway through. And he keeps saying this. I'm like, why? What's so bad if it bites me? And he, like, pulls up his sleeve. And he's got like nine stitch mark here, Jesus. stitches here, stitches here, stitches here, stitches here, stitches here. Not current stitches, but like these huge scars. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, this is every time it's bitten me. And I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, and like I'm not scared of getting bitten by something. Like, I would do it just because I was like, ah, oh, this will be funny. You know, not yeah. like Coyote Peterson level. But I was just like, yeah, who cares? It like wrecked this guy's arm. His That's whole like arm was like kings of pain status. Dude, right it there. was terrifying. And then this thing's just like, I'm trying to lift it. You can't fucking hold on to it because it's just a big greasy muscle and yeah. thrashing and snapping it weighs 55 pounds it was terrifying 
Yeah, dude. That's crazy because, I mean, oh, here we go. What's this? That's Jeremy Wade with a native Japanese, like a little one. That's like, you know, that one's maybe yeah. eight pounds, you know, like not even. That's maybe yeah, yeah, eight yeah. pounds. This one was 52 one. pounds. Like it was huge. Dude, that's so big. Teeth? I want to see what their teeth look like. I yeah, I was going to say because teeth. they yeah. don't, they're not known for, to like bite, but they, they, they evidently cause massive damage when they do. Dude, it's, it's gnarly. Like, yeah, I was terrified of this thing. I really, really was. It was crazy. Um, yeah, there you the go. Just those little, little teeth. But I think it's just the force. Yeah. And like, they have these big dome heads and these big flat pal. Like, give me a cobra, give me a big crocodile, anything <laughs> over this thing. You can't contain it. Like a crocodile, you just grab its grab its neck right. or whatever, right? Yeah. You can't contain this thing at all. Like it's just like it's just so slippery and aggressive. It was crazy, man. I like I liked your description of a fire hose covered in olive oil. <laughs> dude, it was nuts. Like you just could not fucking stop the thing at all. But yeah, anyway, so it was really cool. I was really glad. I flew all the way down to Hiroshima and then drove three hours from there just to go to the place where this was. To nice. see these animals um because they're a big bucket lister for me so it was really really neat that was one of my favorite how, things and now i just did, did that for myself how did you eventually wrangle it because just to pose for that photo like how did you just tire it out dude that was literally those those two photos were the accumulation of 40 minutes of me trying to get it back into the bucket that it climbed out of like <laughs> tired so, it out there's like one where i'm like i think the second one i'm like kind of looking up at the camera for a second but it so we took it out in these big tubs, like these big giant like plastic tubs to weigh them and scale them. And then it launched out at the keeper and basically came out of the tub onto the dirt. And then I was like, hey, do you mind if I put it away? Because, you know, they weren't really like, yeah, just go pick it up for a photo. And I was, they were, he was like, yeah, no yeah, problem. I was wondering but, about that. Yeah, he's like, yeah, no <laughs> problem. But it's really hard. So, you know, good luck, basically. And I was like, yeah, no problem. I've, I've worked with a lot of animals. I'll be fine. I wasn't fine. It took <laughs> yeah. like. It wasn't 40 minutes. It was realistically like 15 minutes. And then eventually we got its head up into the bucket and then kind of scooped the rest of it up. But you can't like dig under its skin. You know, you'll like tear its skin. So you have to like lift it in. And it was just fucking crazy, dude. dude it was it such sounds, a crazy animal. It's like wrangling a bull, but yeah. worse. It's just the slime and that slime that it leaves on you. So it secretes this white milky toxin from its skin Oof. and then it dries on you. So when it secretes it, it's like it's like baby oil. But yeah. it dries on you, and it it dried so much I couldn't pull these two fingers apart, oh, like because it was yuck. all over me, all over my shirt, all over my arms, like everything. I couldn't yeah. touch my phone. I couldn't do anything. So we went from there to the hotel, which is forty minutes away, and I just sat there with my arms like this, with my fingers glued together, and then just <laughs> had literally Liam, the kid who was with me, come with and turn the hot water on because I didn't want to touch anything. And I spent maybe an hour with like a bathroom towel just trying to scrub the slime off. And when I got home. Four days later, Jessica goes, ew, what's that on your arm? And I hadn't even realized that there was still a patch on the back of my arm. Like, it was like super glue. Um, hey, it gave yeah, you a, it the Mac gave you the, the automatic thumbs up. <laughs> and it smells like body odor, too. That's the most, that, so it's just the, it smells like, like gnarly, gnarly B.O. It's crazy. Oof. 